Was it? Yeah. All right. Hi, and welcome to Worth Mending. Today, myself, I'm Alicia, Scott, I'm Scott, and you are all here to learn how to put together our DIY ornament kits. They're great. They're made out of recycled cardboard. Scott designed them and would love to tell you all about what is inside of this package. So when we open it up, we're going to have a little bag and that contains everything we need. So the first thing you'll see is all of these stars. There's 90 stars of various sizes and they can be put together in a couple orientations to make three different ornaments. You also get these wooden sticks and this lock ring. Lock ring? and my upper stick and my lower stick. These fit together kind of like this and we're gonna, in between, we're gonna stack all of the stars. The other small pieces this comes with is a paper set of instructions that shows you step by step how to do everything. But we're gonna walk you through it on this video as well. You get a piece of ribbon that will be used to hang your ornament from get a little piece of sandpaper that you can use to clean up some of the wood bits. You get four pieces of yarn to make a tassel at the bottom. There's also a cardboard threader that we can use to help us make the tassel a little bit easier. You ready, Alicia? Let's do it. Let's get started. Once you've chosen which arrangement you want to make, it's time to sort all of your pieces so that you can easily stack them from one to 90. The stacking order for arrangement A and B is the same, but if you choose C, make sure that you're sorting based on the circled numbers. Disregard or discard any plus sign pieces that you get in your kit. You won't need them for this activity. Now it's time to stack. Take the lower stick and place the stars on from 1 to 90. You'll see in our time lapse here that arrangement A keeps the colorful side up every time and B and C flips every other piece for a striped effect. Just for the video, we're holding our pieces upright with some binder clips, but I think you'll find it easiest to just hold the stick in your hand or get someone to help you by holding the stick for you as you stack. So we've got all our pieces stacked and next we're going to install this lock ring. See there's a little bit of a, a line on here in the lock ring and also on the lower stick. So we want to put those together just like that and slide that down into the unlocked position. And then we're going to put this upper stick with the ear on it in perpendicular to the lower stick so they slot together. And we're going to have to wiggle it a little bit to get it all the way down. So once we've got this fully inserted, we're going to push the upper stick down so it hits the table. And then we're going to turn this lock ring clockwise. Uh, there's a little arrow that shows that. And we're going to turn it just by 45 degrees, which is one star point. Once that's locked in place, I'm going to pull up on the upper stick, and then everything's locked. Now what? Okay, so this next step is entirely optional, but we've included a little piece of sandpaper just in case you want to clean up some of the uh, laser burn marks on the exposed wood, especially up here by where the, uh, the year is. So you take your sandpaper, it slides right in behind here, and you can just give it a little, little rub there until most of the marks seem to be gone. It might take a minute. Looks like we got it. And some a little dirt on here too. And then on the other side, not as much, but just around the edges it's got some burn marks. If you want you can do the bottom too, but it's mostly going to be hidden. A little bit hard to get the sawdust uh, back out of the letters, but if we just wipe that with a wet rag, yeah. you can show it on my side and I'll show it on your side. Cross over. Yeah. Cute. Okay, so now that we've got it all sanded and looking nice, we're gonna tie our ribbon through the top so that we can hang it. I'm just gonna thread it through the top here. This one's got a nice big hole, so it should go through nice and easy. Except it's a bit frayed. There we go. Once you have that through, we're gonna bring both ends together. And then we're going to tie those in a little knot. Uh, you can tie it up high or down low, depending on how low you want your ornament to hang. And once you've got that through, we're just going to pull them. So the next step we're going to do is install the tassels on the bottom. Uh, after you do this, uh, you won't be able to take it apart again without uh, untying or cutting the tassels. So 
I'm gonna grab this little threader that came with the, with the kit. Uh, and we're gonna fold that in half so that we have a nice little point on the end. Then you'll stick the threader through one of the four holes on the lower stick, open the loop, stick one piece of yarn into the loop, and then pull the threader back out through the hole with one end of your yarn. Once it's through, I like to bring both ends of the yarn together so that they are the same length before I go to thread the next one, because when they're all threaded, you'll want to adjust the ends to be about the same length to get a nice long tassel. Then, tie all of the tassel ends together in a knot. You can tie a simple overhand knot, just like you did with a top loop, or use the threader to help you make that knot. To do that, wrap all of the ends around the threader so that they cross over and land on the other side of the handle. Open the threader, put all of the ends through the threader. Then I like to grab that top loop of yarn as I pull the threader and all of the ends back through the loop. Adjust the knot so that it is close to the wooden base of the lower stick. And finally, trim the end of your tassel to whatever length you like. Nicely done. So all three of these arrangements can be made from the same pieces that are included in your kit. You can take it apart and put it back together in a new way when you're done. Can you make it like do the, the marbles thing? Yeah. Thanks for joining us, and you can find these kits on our website, worthmending.com.